All right, this one's going to be on Gini, which is a uh, fast and lightweight IDE program for uh, people that are writing codes. So I'm actually taking a intro to C++ class. Uh, and, you know, in the class, they make us use the Microsoft Visual Studio. And obviously, I can't use that on my Linux machine when I go home. So I can't really do, you know, my homework and stuff like that. So this is where Gini comes in. Before I was using just the terminal, but I actually wanted a uh, GUI program, so this one, you know, was the first one I tried, and so far so good. I like it. Right, the interface is almost like the Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, you know, you have your what's this? Your message and stuff like down here. If you have some errors, uh, this part is where you code, and you have some trees here for your files here. Anyways, it does more than just C++. Um, like what? What else does it support? It's like C, uh, PHP, Python, and all that. So it doesn't have to be C++, but that's what I'm showing you right now. Okay, let me run one of these stuff here for our example. Let me copy this code here, and we'll paste it in here. Now the text right here is still black and white. And if it's black and white like this, you obviously cannot build it. Uh, so you have to actually save the file first, okay? If you're pasting something in, you have to save it. Um, you know, whatever coding or whatever programming language you're saving to, make sure it's in the right format. So we'll call this today.cpp for C++. Save that sucker. And you can see that it turns into uh, colors. Uh, because it recognized the syntax now after you saved it. Anyways, now you can actually build it and then execute it. So I'm going to go on to build here, right? And it says build successfully in the bottom here. Uh, if you have some errors, obviously you have to fix your code. But let's go execute now. We can execute the sucker. And there you go. Here's my, uh, or here's the program that it uh, build. And now this one, let me run it here. So this one requires some numbers. We put in some numbers. Works fine, right? And escape that. So if you're looking for a simple and lightweight uh, ID for your intro to programming language, or you start out doing programming and you need something lightweight, I'll say this one is um, so far so good. I probably have to try out some other IDEs to you know say which one is the best but for me this one very quick to open uh, doesn't require a lot of dependencies if you're already using GNOME it installs really quick it's actually in your repositories already so if you're taking C++ or any of those uh, programming classes and you need one uh, and you're on your um, Linux machine. Actually, they have they have this program on Windows too, I believe. Uh, I think they did a port or something. So if you're on your Windows and you want to use this instead of the Microsoft Visual Studio bloat, then you can actually use this one. Right? It might be lightweight there too. I'm not exactly sure, but for this one on Linux, very fast. All right, that's it for this one.